I literally like skipped half of the song because I couldn't remember the lyric and I was like oh my god this is the end of my career like today we're gonna be talking all about how k-pop idols or just singers in general keep the best vocal conditions for performances and oh my god I'm gonna be sharing my worst performance stages ever where I completely forgot the lyrics to the whole song you guys also wanted me to try Indian food I am so excited to try it Ooh, got my Indian rice here and then I think this is called butter chicken I asked you guys what I should try on Instagram and a lot of you guys it's suggested butter chicken this is literally like two times the size of my face you guys whoa forgive me if I'm wrong but I do think that people eat this with the hands so should I do that should I try it with my hands I would but I have to talk with my phone so I'll be eating with a fork today oh my god let me just try this naan I think it's a regular naan I don't think he gave me a garlic one Mmm, mmm. I asked for super spicy, so let's see if it's super spicy. Got some chicken and the bread. Mmm. A little bit of the sauce. Mmm. If you guys have any other Indian food suggestions that I should try, please leave a comment down below. Or, you know, you know, any food that I should try. So let's talk about some myth when it comes to vocal condition. Number one, a lot of people said, does raw eggs work when it comes to keeping your vocal condition? I've never done this before. I've heard about it and a lot of people do it. So let me try if this works. Pasture-raised egg, which is the most expensive egg you can get. Oh. It's so slimy. Yeah. So the thing about raw egg is I know it's supposed to be slimy and supposed to coat your throat, but I've never actually seen someone do it like before live performances or recording or things like that. So maybe it works, but I haven't seen anyone actually do it. There is a popular theory which is using pork fat to coat your throat in Korea And this is actually very popular and I've done this before Where they believe that once you eat pork the day before or the day of your performances Because pork has a lot of fat it's supposed to coat your throat and give you a lot of energy to sing So I've done before I guess it works Where it's more like a placebo effect where I feel like I think it works But I do think it works because you're eating meat you're eating a lot of energy And I do think that when your voice is like almost gone or you're sick eating oil definitely does does help to kind of like form more saliva in your throat, I guess. Again, it's not scientifically proven or anything, so don't take my word for it. The next one, drinking a lot of water. This one I actually don't recommend. Of course, obviously in recordings, you could drink or eat whatever you want, but when it comes to live performances, drinking a lot of water actually makes your nerves even worse. I feel like the more I drank water when I'm nervous, the more thirsty that I got. So what I personally like to do is drink milk or almond milk or kind of like dairy products, because there is like this saying that dairy products form like saliva a lot of saliva poach your throat and things like that now when it comes to k-pop i believe that it is about connecting with each other online so i want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor live duck just like today i'm sharing my information there is a new k-pop app a community for k-pop lovers where you can share your favorite idol pictures enjoy live broadcasts videos of your favorite idols and of course like me sharing some tips and tricks when it comes to k-pop you as fans get to share various fan activities through live broadcasting as well I've downloaded it, Live Duck right here. There's a lot of forms that people uploaded with their favorite idols where they upload their pictures and live videos of people sharing their fan arts, their journals, and, and I'm personally interested in seeing a lot of K-pop fashions. You get to interact with your fans and if you write some form about me, I'm gonna go and like and comment and follow you on the app. So it's free to sign up, it's free to download, so why not? So thank you to Live Duck. Now that was for the live performances but when it comes to recordings, it's a lot different because I remember in Korea, we have something called Bonnogum. Bonnogum is the official recording. It's really different than America versus Korea. In America, like I'm working with my producer right now and I told him because I'm so used to Bonnogum official recordings. When I would give my producer like demos that are recorded in my house, he would say, hey, this is technically official recording. Everybody really has their own mic or the producer does. It's really like a chill vibe, but in Korea, the company rents out a studio, a recording studio, a session for, you know, like three hours, which is like the minimum. And you have this like whole date set. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. But whenever it came to official recordings, I was so nervous because they make you feel like it is so, you only have this one chance to do it. Throughout the week, the month, my voice was perfect and fine, but that 
day of the recording. My vocal conditions were never good. Looking back now, it all had to do with mental reasons because I was so stressed. I was like, I have to like keep a good condition. Like I can't get a cold, like I can't mess up. But I do think there's a huge plus to strict recordings because I learned how to be disciplined, know how to control my emotions so I could sing in any circumstances. And I'm absolutely grateful for that training and experience that I had. In the beginning, I had producers that was very scary. Like there's certain, there's like two categories of producers. My producer for Trick or Treat song, he was one of the best producers ever. He is so chill, so funny. He makes the vibe like so comfortable, like no pressure. And that's how music should be. Music really comes from the soul and the heart. And if you are pressured and like you're stressed about it, you're not gonna sing well. But then there's also producers who give you a very scary vibe. Like it's the end of the world and today's the only chance. And if you don't get to do it today, then you're a bad singer. And I remember this one producer, he just, I don't know what it is, but I guess he loved the serious vibe. And every time I did something wrong, he would just just be so scary about it, so stressful about it, and like he put so much pressure. I go in there, you sing for like 20 30 minutes, and like I'm done for the day. I had no energy because he sucked the energy out of me. So I realized how important producers are in creating that good vibe. So it's very interesting how those little details are very different in different countries. So let's go into some tips and tricks that I really want to share with you guys the mistakes that I made in the past when it came to singing and performing. There's one thing that the C Oh, this boss person that I worked with in the previous past. I didn't really like him, but <laughs> I had my reasons, okay? But there's this one thing that he really taught me that was valuable. I talked about this in my singing video a long time ago, and there's some people that was really against for this advice that I had. Where the video I told you guys, so it's okay sometimes to lose your voice because you've been singing so much or you've been using the wrong techniques. So we were having a monthly valuation and I guess I picked the wrong song or whatever. They didn't like the performance that I did. So the boss, the CEO, he literally yelled at me so loud in front of everyone, every trainee, every staff member that was watching the monthly performance he was basically telling me why is your voice so clear if you're singing for six seven hours a day practicing every day your voice shouldn't be that clear just like a ballerina who practices hours and hours a day her feet should be messed up with hard skin everywhere it shouldn't look like a baby's foot I realized what he was saying now looking back and don't take this advice the wrong way but sometimes you really need to fall down in order to learn like you need scrapes and bruises in order to learn and grow right you need to try different vocal techniques that fits you you need to practice a lot in order for you to prepare yourself and without my voice being gone sometimes and like messing up I would not have been a stronger performer because I now knew what technique did work for me and didn't work for me. Like I said, once you're a professional, your voice shouldn't go out because you know how to control now. This is a trick that one of my staff members told me. So I was doing this intense diet for two weeks because I was supposed to film a music video and I was literally on the verge of passing out because I was eating so little. So on the verge of passing out, uh, one of the staff members took me to a Korean beef restaurant and I strictly only had beef. I didn't like even add salt in it or eat eat rice or anything and I was able to get my energy pretty quickly that day so, so you're able to maintain the energy have protein without eating too much fat and carbs so let's talk about my worst performances that I've been ever and it was that day I realized wow I am nowhere near perfection it was after this TV show that I was on you guys know I was supposed to do this like radio slash live performance it was like a live radio performance where there were a lot of people watching me and whatever I sang also was live on the radio after the unpretty rap star show I developed severe anxiety a fear of performing I know it's so weird because I was on the stage performing like a badass yet I developed bad anxiety so I remember I went on the stage there were a lot of people sitting down anxiety got to me so bad that at that moment it was a song that I performed like hundreds of times where I should not forget the lyrics right when the intro came I knew I was done I was like I don't remember the lyrics what's going on with me I don't know what's happening I couldn't remember any of the lyrics to my songs and I was supposed to perform like two or three songs. I literally like skipped half of the song because I couldn't remember the lyrics. And I was like, oh my God, this is the end of my career. Like what the hell's going on? And I remember this one girl sitting in the seats and she looked at me and she just looked at her phone the whole performance. And that bothered me so much because
because it told me that I was such a bad performer. Like, I'm supposed to be this professional person that they called over, yet I can't remember my lyrics. Somehow I got through the performance and I was screaming and crying inside. Can you imagine like you're listening to me on the radio and like she's not even singing? Like what is going on? I wonder what the people thought that was watching me. Like who is this girl? Like she can't even remember her lyrics. Like starting from that day, I realized that I needed to change my mentality because everything was mental. It was nothing having to do with my physical self. I didn't have Alzheimer's. Like it was just the mentality that I was in. So I remember I really practiced hard. Um, I gained more experiences. I tried to change my perspective. I tried to surround myself in a more positive vibe and that really helps. And I believe I'd never ever had that kind of experience ever again, thank God. But really performing comes from from experience like no matter how much time you practice you really have to get out there sing in front of people and I've even done busking before I debut you literally bring a speaker and you just sing in front of random people but ultimately when it came to my fear of performing and anxiety I think I really completely got rid of it when when I met my mentor and he really was like the definition of someone that was able to bring out my natural energy and he always gave me positive words positive affirmations Affirmations, and he really changed my perspective and the way I thought and ever since then I've never had anxiety bad encounters or you know not being able to perform so I'm so excited to show you my new upgraded level when it comes to songwriting and performing hopefully this COVID thing will be over and we can meet in real person you guys thank you so much for watching and remember to check out Life Dog and see you in my next video mm. Mashi Mm-hmm.